Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming, I'm Annie, and today we're going to explore the sci-fi fantasy visual novel, Price of Power. This gorgeous coming-of-age story is available for PC, Mac, CMOS, and Linux on Steam, with an Android version also available on their Patreon. Since I began the channel, one of the biggest pushbacks I've gotten from many people in the community is that visual novels aren't games. While I do understand that visual novels have a lesser degree of active interaction than playing, let's say, Mario Kart, the purpose of a visual novel is to deliver a much more immersive and engaging story. Price of Power is very much in this category of a story-focused gaming experience. There are some limited choices as you play and as you progress, it feels more like a kinetic novel at times, as opposed to a choose-your-own-adventure format. The plot is actually really good. This is one of those science fiction stories that looks like a fantasy because of a technological collapse similar to Horizon Zero Dawn or the Wheel of Time series. It's up to you and your newfound AI symbiote to uncover the past and hopefully save your society from the threat of extinction. This is very much about the journey, and while this is a game with adult content, don't expect to see instant gratification. The initial Steam release is 8 chapters into a planned 30 and there is barely any sexual interaction. The developer, the Panda Man, does promise 3 different relationship paths as the game progresses. But if you're looking for a game where the sole focus are sexual interactions, then you are probably going to be disappointed. For everyone else, this is a gorgeous game with fantastic renders and animations. The music has a medieval and classical feel that fits well, but there are currently no sounds with the animations. I have no idea if this is going to change because, like I said earlier, the sexual interactions are currently very, very limited. What does that mean for flavors? Currently, this is a male protagonist heterosexual experience, and not much else. The developer is promising harem, group, lesbian, power exchange, pregnancy, and more. But currently, we're almost at a YA novel level of sexual interaction. I think most of the optional content will come down to which of the three romantic routes that you choose. A monogamous path, a trying path between you and two others, and a full-blown gotta catch em all harem. So far, I have really enjoyed Price of Power. This is probably one of the best plots I've seen in this space. The pacing is good, there is humor, and I genuinely want to know more about the Godsland, the Southlands, and the Fall. Maybe one of the reasons that I get so many complaints about visual novels is that there are so many of them that have terrible or boring stories in between the scenes of sexual interaction. Price of Power does an amazing job subverting that expectation with a fantastic story, great visuals, and sadly, minimal interactions. So if you're trying to skip ahead, you're going to be doing a lot of skipping. But if you're looking for a fantasy adventure with an immersive narrative, then I highly recommend giving Price of Power a shot. Let me know what you think. How do you define what a game is, and where do you feel that visual novels belong? I try hard not to gatekeep, but I do think that we should be able to at least reasonably talk about what we think. I know. Madness. <laughs> Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's supporters on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you.